hello and welcome back so we discussed the floating and the clear properties now it's a time to discuss the position property what's the difference between the position property and the floating property for to learn that I'm gonna delete the floating properties I applied previously so they won't be floated anymore but they will have a position I'm absolutely deleting the clear both property with this div even the div 2 so now save it browser refresh that now you can see that both of them are on the previous position okay now I'm, I'm applying position to the div 1 I'm going here to the div 1 there are a few kind of position elements uh, actually a few kind of values of these position properties like position relative position absolute position fixed what if i add the position fixed or absolute save it now what's the impact of this absolute position i'm saving it i'm going to the browser back refreshing the page okay so this one we gave the fixed position this one is the first one now everything you can see that even the texts are now actually took the place of it when you give the position to some element out of the static position by default they already has the static positions you do not need to give them but if you don't give the static positions so ultimately as you can see they are not not now even floated they are just like they're not here they are positioned elements they're not in a sorting way so they're just out of the sorting when you apply to the uh, to the, the the position element the position property to any element you can do one more thing you can give them the top left bottom and right positions precisely for example you want it to be 100 pixels from the top and from the left you want it 300 pixels and you don't need, don't need to give the bottom position or the right position because it won't work by now because ultimately they are already on the top and the left side refresh the page now you can see that their position are now changed in a nice way so this is a simple position formula but there is something more i want to tell you this is just one way to make the position absolute we just made it the position absolute so the position absolute is actually something which is which actually depends on the ancestors its ancestors we didn't learn the nesting of the of any element anyway but uh, uh, we can even nest the divs inside the divs so the position absolute will follow their ancestors if there is no ancestor it has it will ultimately follow the body the main body tag to move with page scrolling if i apply the position relative so the element will be position relative normally unless you apply the top and left properties top left or right or bottom properties now you can see that we applied the the top bottom left properties top and left properties but you can see that because of the position relatives it's it picks and it's actually placed along with these elements this is the position relative it's still it's uh, it got the you know the top and left but it it is still here change the position but the all of the other elements are now are now still considering this as a part of the team now i'm gonna do something different here okay now we understand the position relative and the position absolute what if i make it position fixed if i made it position fixed there would be a problem but actually we won't be able to testify it what i'm doing is i'm actually increasing the elements i am copying it the class tools element like this one copying it pasting 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 and pasting pasting i want to make the page scrollable to testify you the right reason for using the position fixed okay there are a lot of similar divs which is not a right thing anyway however we are not using but whether we shouldn't have the divs or at least not in a wrong direction okay 
saving it now refreshing the page okay you can see that there are a lot of text but now you can see that it is not positioned in the document now it is not the position relative but when I just scroll the page you can see that it's still in its same place this is the position fixed is it awesome isn't it okay the position fixed means the scrolling even doesn't if effect on this now we're gonna talk about the position sticky I'm giving this one as position sticky and for this purpose we need more elements I'm deleting the div uh, ID tag and copying it so we won't need to actually change the IDs for all of them okay now I'm making this one as the sticky so I'm adding the style attribute here and position is sticky now saving it going back refreshing it okay you can see that it is still fixed but it is behaving like normal but however it's uh, at the top of this element anyway but when it just goes here oh I need more text anyway okay refresh the page now okay you can see that it's on the same position it's it's just like moving normally it's not behaving like it is something fixed or relative but when it just goes here oh I missed a point let me go back to the coding panel I actually need to at the top position where I want to stick here I want to stick at the top zero refresh the page now now you would see the real it now you can see that it is still the same it's moving same but once I it reached to the height to the top zero position it will be stick you can see that the you can see that this is this sticked one the sticky now it got sticked okay that's awesome this was the position sticky so in the next lecture we're going to talk about something more till then stay tuned bye bye